Hey guys, Teddy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Well, not all of this, just the, the slight screen movement that's in the background. As you can see, like, if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see how the screen's slowly sort of like jittering around and shit. Um, I'm going to be showing you my own version of that and how I do it. So pretty much I, um, I do all my editing. This is with Sony Vegas, by the way. It's a lot harder to do with Sony Vegas because, um, like, instead of After Effects, because After Effects allows you to have different layers and it, it's a lot easier um, to do things like this, but it's a lot harder to get to know how to do it, so I'm lazy and I don't want to learn how, so I just use Vegas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, once you've got your whole project edited, um, uh, you just you know, render it and stuff and open it in another project and, um, now, hopefully you guys know how to keyframe, um, if not, I'll link you to my previous, um, editing video, um, and that should teach you how, but, so you, you open up the video event, effects, which is, it's just along the clip, it's just in the corner here, the square sort of thing, open it up, um, god damn it, this is annoying, how does it do that? Alright, so you go down here to the bottom, there's like two sort of um, lines going across the bottom with um, these little diamond weird things. Um, the top row is the positioning, so that's what you need. Masking, I might, I might, do, a, I might do a tutorial for masking later on. It's, it's pretty simple um, and it's good, but anyway. No, gotta get back to this. Um, so pretty much what I like to do is um, I just go, I create different key frame points um, every ten, um, every third of a second, I think it is? I'm not sure. It's every ten. No, no, it's not a third of a second. It's like a, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I start at the beginning, and I press, go, I go right ten spaces. Place another. Okay, um, I just did like a little bit of it and I forgot something. Um, before you start keyframing, um, you really need to um, bring the edges of your clip inwards so that um, it doesn't look like a piece of poo when you do the thing. That's, that's the best way I can <laughs> explain it. It's like, I'll show you. Um, you take it in a bit, like, I've, I've already got a preset for it. Since your clip's gonna be moving around and shit, you know. See, look at this, it's staying inside the black borders. Whereas, if you put it on default, it's going on the outsides and it'll look like shit. Literally. I just realized there's an easier way. Just like do a little bit, like what I just did, and then just copy it. We have a cross 10, just paste it, paste that shit. I mean, look at that, that's. that's perfect. That just saved me like 30 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so, um. Let's keep pasting this shit. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what type of edit I'm doing, you can wait until Monday, because that's when I'm going to be uploading this. Monday's tomorrow, yeah. You can wait till tomorrow. It doesn't really matter if it's not perfect, you know, like, it's, <laughs> it's not really going to show up. Because, like, you're working with milliseconds here. So, anything you do, it's not going to be too major. Alright, uh, once you've done that, once you've gone through your whole clip and copy and paste and shit. Now this is the one that um, takes longest, but you've got to go through each individual keyframe and change it slightly. Um, how, how much you change it is up to you. Um, I usually go one or two each way. Now what you do is, you just click on the keyframe, click on the square. And then press the key which way you want, um, you know, just any way. I press like one left and then one up. And then next one I do like pretty much the opposite. I go like maybe one down, something. And then next one, one right, one up. And then maybe one left, one up. And you know, I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did last time. Um. I'm a lazy motherfucker. Yep. Yeah. Control C. I think Control C and Control V are my favorite, you know, command things. They just 
like get me through everything, you know, like help me with editing, help me with sending people links so I can spam them my shit on Skype, help me with homework, just, they just, they get me through everything. Alright, so that's pretty much it done. I'll just show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's like slowly moving, like sort of shaking a bit. It's, like it's, it's not too noticeable, but um, yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah, once you're done with that, render it. And yeah, if you want, if you um, end up doing this, and if you end up uploading it, Post as a video response your attempt to do this just so that you know just so that I can sleep at night knowing that I've helped you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be sure to like this video and yeah, thank you.